conceding goals in his club and I hope he's going to take that, bring that to, to Ireland as well. And what about Evan Burgess' performance in, in the first half in particular? Yeah, good. Used the ball well when, when, when he had it. Um, smart passes, he's just a clever player. Uh, I think everybody sees that he is, his fitness level is, is improving. Um, he's getting more minutes at his club. So happy for him, uh, and we know we know when he gets when he gets fully fit, you know he will he will just start to go to score goals. It's just natural for for some players. They they always score goals. I heard you say one of your post matches that you just thought maybe the press was almost too aggressive at times. Why do you think that was? Was that almost a response to previous games where we might have started slowly that they were almost too keen to make an impression? Yeah, we we were unhappy with both the first half in Finland and in Greece and then second half we played really well it was like when we had nothing to lose we we started playing on a front foot uh, so everybody probably wanted to be aggressive from beginning uh, and it kind of resulted in over ambitious at times uh, pressing breaking out from the team pressing and jumping uh, from out of shape so we opened the, the, the team a little bit at, at, at times and Finland has a, an experienced team. They played a lot of, of games together. The, the, the coach is a, is a really good, experienced coach, having this team for a long time. So once we give them options, they, they will take them. It's just it's a mature team. So no, that, that was what I felt, especially uh, defending. We were maybe too, well, like, over ambitious at times. Uh, instead of being a little bit more tactical, waiting for our moments to press. And it resulted in that they played in between our shape and found, found spaces. And at the same time, on the ball as well, we, once we did it well, we, we looked really good when we moved the ball quickly from flank to flank. Both Festi and, and Mikey Johnson did a really good job, one we won, delivered a lot of crosses. Um, and then we got a lot of uh, set plays, corners, free kicks that we didn't use well enough. But winning, we, we got a lot of good, good attacking moments. Um, and we also, when we needed, we, we, we played a good defensive shape, but it was a little bit Jekyll and Hyde performance. But overall, I think, mostly happy with the energy for 90 minutes now. It was not like first half, second half was not a big difference. but. We need, need to be a little bit smarter uh, in, in the basics. Damien Spalman, please. Maybe, does tonight make Sunday kind of a free hit? It was, it, was always, it was always two matches really different from each other. I think this one was, and I, we, we talked about it, this one was the most important one. Uh, now we have the three points, so probably we, we go a little bit more relaxed into the England game. Uh, it hasn't, hasn't any meaning in the positioning of, in, in the group. It's of course important for FIFA points for us to get something from that game. Um, and I think um, even though maybe not fully deserved to go with a clean sheet, it, it gives us, gives us a, a, um, a certain confidence going into the game again. You, you said last month after Quivé made a mistake, in Greece, that's, that's what happens with goalkeepers. Tonight is, is the hero. Yeah, I said football is a team sport. Until the goalkeeper does a mistake, then it, then it becomes an individual sport. Uh, no, he, he, he really answered for that today. Uh, all around performance was, was really good. Um, so happy, really happy with him. Gavin, please. Hey, Mary, uh, congratulations. Um, Matt Doherty, obviously, recalled tonight. How do you assess his performance? <laughs> I was waiting for that question. <laughs> it seems to be about Matt Doherty. I've said again, we, we all know what he does, what, what he can deliver. I think he did, played a good game. We were a little bit worried uh, because he hadn't played 90 minutes for a long time, so we decided to, to make a substitution. Um, and. Um, and those, those needed some minutes. Uh, we wanted to see how he was as well. So it was, a, it was a good time to do it. Do you see this team as being on a constant upward trajectory of progression? Or they get, do you feel there's a constant line of progress from when you start, first start? No, we're not, we're not like jumping of joy. 
today. I think we, we could have done much better than we did. Obviously, it was enough to win, and, and that is a good thing. But we need, we know we need to, we need to work a lot as a, as a unit, as a as a group to to progress. Because if we want to qualify for the World Cup, we need to win um, teams that that are higher ranked than us and get points from them. And I would say, um, with this performance, we probably wouldn't. But it was enough. It was enough today, and that's good. And we build on that. It's good to have a win for the for the spirit. Um, and I think these players need to to experience that as often as they can. But yeah, under no illusion, we need to improve. Ed Lee, please. Um, um, I suppose just was a real focus on the wide play tonight. Um, when you have when you have players like Callum and Mikey playing together on the left, we expect Mikey to maybe come in a bit more to allow Callum to go up front, up forward. And like was on the right, did it leave too much um, ground for the midfield, the central midfielders to cover, or were you, were you confident that was, that was okay? So the, the 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 plan was to to rotate on the left, playing Callum up high, pinning them up the, on that side. And, uh, and Mikey Moore inverted. So that was that was a plan, it happened at times. Um, but again, both are playing kind of first time uh, since I came. So it was it, it was expected maybe that it wasn't gonna be fluid. Um, and, uh, and Robbie has been, had played all the minutes up to now, so it's just normal that when new players come in, they, they, will, they will need to find their feet, I thought. Callum was, was excellent, uh, and the same with Mikey, I think they, they did really well. And you talk then just about building confidence in this team, and what Mikey did for the goal, it almost, do you think it gave him that confidence in the second half to actually start to drift, and you know, he had more freedom almost in the second half to sort of take a few more chances, maybe? Yeah, I, I think they did, both him and Festy did really well in the first half. Once we, we gave them the, the, the service that they want uh, to isolate them on a one v one situation, I think when that happens, they both did really well. Um, so no, no, I was happy with it. Thanks. We'll do the follow-up side. Thank you.